That was weird. Drink some old monk. That'll help wash it down. Yeah. Just Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions. It's I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. Uh, oh, 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 Today, uh, this is a little different of a video. Great. Are they naked? I hope so. Um, <laughs> Raja, sir. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Do you want that? No, no, I don't want that anymore in my head. You don't want that anymore? No. Uh, so this Brr. is Raja, erase, Ra erase. Raja Live Composing. Oh, improvisational music composition? This is a clip of Raja Sir doing an impromptu composition for a scene, as always. It's amazing to watch this genius of a man compose music. Balki is the director of Hindi movies like Pa, okay. Chiri Kum, and okay. Padman. He is a diehard fan of Raja Sir and our good friends. Balki asks him to compose impromptu on the stage for an emotional scene in International Film Festival of India, as you guys appreciate. Raja Sir, hope you guys enjoy it. The yes. video has English subtitles. Awesome. Impromptu composition. That's cool. You ever done that? Yes, actually. Not, it's much harder. That, oh, that's cool. you need to know. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, like it is very prevalent in uh, in the politics of this country today. The part is uh -huh. when I compose the um, when I write the music, people will be sitting quietly. Uh, okay. If they make one noise, you stop the music. Okay. Uh, finished. <laughs> Do not talk. Okay. That's right. The the scenario is very simple. There is a guy. Uh, Whatever the battle is, could be political, could be something else, could be business, could be whatever. He is coming home on the way, going through various places, various places, walking towards where his father is sleeping to kill him. Okay, the son is going to kill the father and that is the situation and he's coming all the way to kill him. That's the situation. That's the song. This is killing me. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> My film. <laughs> I have to compose. I say right off the bat, I didn't expect him to just start writing. What would you do? Playing? Get, get, get to the piano and just start playing. Hmm. But I'm You're not, not Roger. Him. <laughs> That's the understatement of the year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why are you talking? Seriously. No, and that's that's the thing. Um, that amazes me so much is like so many composers, they get they hear it in their head mm -hmm. and then they write it out mm -hmm. just so that they can have it down to remember what was going on in their head and just to have it over and over. Their again. minds work different, man. They do, and that's what happens when you're literate in music. Because I'm not fully literate in music. Mm -hmm. I can I you're can look illiterate. At, I'm partially literate. No, you're illiterate. No, no, no. In music, no, I'm, you're illiterate. <laughs> I'm partially literate in that I can read a choral part. If I'm singing tenor. I can read the key signature. I know where I am on the treble clef. And I'm, I'm pretty accurate in singing the notes when I see them in the meter. Mm -hmm. But if you put a piano chart in front of me, I could not play a piano chart. I could slowly over time learn a piano chart over like, what you put in front of him, he'd play when he sits and reads it. It would take me a week to figure those chords out. Um, and when I write music, it's, it's just chords and lyrics, mm -hmm. not actual notation. I bet Tashar could do this. Yeah, I bet Tashar can. And I'm sure A.R. Rahman can. Yeah, oh yeah. Um, I, I, on it, you know who might not be able to do this? I could be wrong. For some reason I feel like it's either Hans Zimmer or some extremely well-known 
composer who is not uh, musically literate. Meaning they can't write and read music. Like Stevie Ray Vaughan couldn't read and write music. Isn't that amazing? I'd love to see what he's writing. Yeah, can we see it? <laughs> he's already like... Yeah, he heard it in his head already. He knows exactly what this song sounds like. And now, because he's musically literate, he'll play what he wrote. That's the other thing is that he's got a photographic memory. He's not looking at what he wrote, he just remembers what he wrote. Good night. He doesn't need to look at the chart, he knows what he gave him. <clears throat> and now he's embellishing it. He has the whole orchestra in his head already. If it, if it had been used Is he going to give this to everybody? Like I see a flautist. I'm assuming. He's going to make a whole song. I'm sure it's coming faster than he can write it down. And oh, yeah. I bet it gets very frustrating. Yeah. Because he's probably got it all, and he's like, can't you get it? And like, if you don't get it, and see, he gets it, it's like, it's, it's, it's easy, it's right here. And you're like, oh, I'm not a genius. <laughs> it's like that really happens, like in Whiplash. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When the guy, when he's like, okay, somebody's not playing my note. Yeah. And, the, and the band is like, who missed? I didn't hear anything wrong, but there was something wrong. And then he threw a chair. Yeah, it's so good. A lot of coughing going on. It's amazing how much that happens in a quiet auditorium. He's got a cellist. So the flute and the violin are gonna be doubling, and I guess the cellist will double that as well. Um, unless he just wrote something completely separate for the cellist, I mean the flautist. Yeah, normally this process takes about a couple of days, uh, this whole process. In his case, it takes uh, exactly the time that you no, actually No, it can see. be done now, now itself. No, I, I was just saying, no, normally, yeah, in, yeah, other, yeah. in other cases, yeah. it takes two days. Normally, it takes the same time in a studio. Months to other people are taking months to Yeah, yeah, many, many days, months. <laughs> They're not Rajasar. Just play the tune again. Genius is more differently than everybody else's. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-
Ridiculous. That was so much fun to watch. Off the top of his head. That is the stuff that we want to see artists in the middle of their process and just get to enjoy them doing what they do well, in their process. We, that's what we talk about when we like, when we want to be on set with great actors. It's like I just want just to watch, watch them. them work. It's so much fun. Any art form, even man. though they're not not doing anything, like. You just get to watch them be the geniuses they are. Yeah, that's why I want to be on set one day with Spielberg, just to watch him think. Mm -hmm. I just want to watch him think mm -hmm. and see what it is that see when him look see watch him work with his DP and look at a shot and and come up with some decisions. And what does he do when he makes a decision? Does he walk away from the crowd, get alone? Does he go back and watch the footage over and over and over again? Does he have a fit and throw his you know what's his and is it different the next day? Is he different in set on in a sound stage than he is when he's on location? And and that that's just like I would love to see everybody we know musically do something like that. Yeah. Because it would be different for all of them. A.R. Rahman may just go to the piano and start playing. Mm -hmm. um, Vishal. Yeah, Vish, Vishal may decide he hears it, and then he may use a synth sound. And also, he's be really interesting because he's in every world. Right. Exactly. He's not only a composer. Right. He obviously will think about it visually correct and, and and everything like that so yeah all these people that that we've heard of the Amit Trivedi like and I would also love to know if they ever hit creative walls because I, I I doubt Roger does. I, I <laughs> and if they do what do they do do they just stop because it sucks it's weird because there's sometimes literally a song and I, I've never written a full score for anything when I say I write songs I write songs that are considered your, your, your standard piano, guitar stuff, or pop stuff. And I've recorded an album and done stuff that way. But when you write, sometimes a song has written itself. It's just like dictation. You've got the song and it's out literally in like five minutes. Yeah. Then there's other songs, you've been working on it for five days and you can't finish it. And then there's other times, every chord you hit on every instrument, you hit a chord and it reminds you of six other songs. So you can't come up with an original thought. Yeah. I'd love to know if that's a, ever an occurrence for these guys. My suspicion, Probably not Rogers, never. Sir. My suspicion is his comprehension of music is so vast that for him it would be like, why wouldn't I be able to have a different idea? It's like finding new stars in the sky. They're yeah, endless. Their brains work so Yeah, it's different. endless. I have endless ideas. They think in music. Exactly. Yeah, it's I doubt he has writer's block. Um, I'd be shocked, but that was... That, that was, was so rewarding. A pretty <laughs> a pretty cool, man. Yeah. I mean, for, for Hope reactions, you liked it. that's about like, literally just watching somebody work. A lot of it's silent. <laughs> like, it's great. It's fun to watch uh, geniuses work. Yep. Uh, let us know what other videos we should react to down below. Just